a chilly night in the Queen City, dare we say evocative of October. That's the dream for the homestanding Reds, who enter their second week of the season and open up a three-game series tonight against the New York Mets. Here he is, Hunter Green. Second start of the season, 16 times he already touched 100 on the radar in that first start, four and two thirds against Washington on Saturday. Francisco Lindor, the switch hitter, getting set to lead things off against Hunter Green. And he just got one off the backside. Mm. So hit by pitch, sends Lindor down to first. Alonzo hitting 292, seven, ho or, uh, seven for 28. Couple of homers, couple of RBIs, tied the game last night. Alonso smacks one in the air to left. Spencer Steer tracks it down. Got a good jump on the ball. And records the first down of the game. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. You knew at some point he'd have to come with the heater. He did right there on a fastball up and in. And Alvarez swings right through it. This one bounce. Fair. Inside the line. Up the third base side. Throw to third. He is dropped. So everybody's safe. Lindor, with a head start, gets all the way to third. That had a lot of English on it from Brett Beatty, and it winds up being a double. So now Marte with a base hit with the Mets on the board. Strike three call inside corner. Marte does not like it. And Green gets out of the first inning unscathed. The Reds coming to bat. Well, for Quintana last year, he began the year on the I.L. Originally, he was signed by the New York Mets in 2006 out of Columbia. And the first pitch swinging for India. Lines one right at Harrison Bader. One pitch, one out. Steers off to a red hot start. He's hitting 435. A home run and eight RBIs already. Line drive, left field. Steer has gone yard. Spencer Steer with a laser home run. His second of the year in Cincinnati. Starts the fireworks early. Boy, what a beautiful swing Spencer Steer has. Level, <laughs> efficient to the ball. You leave one over the heart of the plate against that guy, he's going to make you pay for it. Looped into short left, Spencer Steer comes racing in, and near the line, he makes the catch. Boy, another good play by Spencer Steer out in left field. Two up and two down for Hunter Green. Here's Bader. Bader strikes out. And a one, two, three second for Green. He's thrown 30 strikes out of his 36 pitches. And it's swung on and missed strike three, 100 miles per hour. Six in a row sat down by Hunter Green. Here's Pete Alonzo. Fastball on the outside corner, a called strike three. Throws Alonzo at 99. Two strikeouts in the inning for Hunter Green. Makes the catch for the second out. Just enough room to spare and just enough time to get over there. That was a, an awkward crouch, but a great play by Alonzo. Now the cleanup hitter, Jamer Candelario. Right, in motion, there's strike three. Got another one. Another curveball. And Quintana wiggles out of the jam. Alvarez couldn't lay off that time. He strikes out the second time tonight. That's six for Green. Hard ground ball the third. Gobbled up by Espinal. A nine-pitch inning for Hunter Green. Reds get their young star, Ellie De La Cruz, to the plate. We come back. Swing at a ground ball, fair inside the third base bag. That's going to go down the left field line, headed for the corner. And De La Cruz is around first, and he'll motor into second base with a stand-up double. Just hear the crowd right now. You can tell that they love their young sensation. It's Marte drifting over to his right. He makes the catch for out number two. De La Cruz stays put over at second base, and Will Benson comes to the plate. And Benson with a fly ball, shallow left. Near foul ground, Taylor charges and makes the catch. Unable to do anything with the De La Cruz double. Still 1-0 Cincinnati. So a one-out single for Bader, and the Mets have runners at first and second. Hit Stewart up and in with 98. But with the hit by pitch, the bases are now loaded for the top of the order. Lindor pops it up. Shallow right, Benson is there, waved off by Fairchild. Here comes the runner from third, and the Mets, with a sack fly, have tied the game, sending Taylor home. Lindor gets an RBI, and it's 1-1 here in Cincinnati. Back-to-back -back base hits for Cincinnati to start the fifth. But now this is tough. Spencer Steer stands in. He's the guy that homered in the bottom of the first and then walked against Quintana in the third. 
Line drive, caught! Diving catch by Brett Beatty at third. <laughs> what a play by Brett Beatty, a web gem. Absolutely stole a base hit from Spencer Steer. A full layout dive to his left. Wow. In the air, deep center from Encarnacion Strand, but it stays in the yard. Bader makes the catch. This is 104 miles an hour off the bat. In the summer, that ball's a double, if not traveling even more. And the Mets, no reason yet to get their bullpen started. As Beatty makes another nice play on a soft line drive. Had to read that well off the bat. And he throws out Candelario. Red Beatty is two for three. And he is a huge reason why this is still a tie game. Here's Tyrone Taylor. Lines one sharply on the ground. Espinal makes the play, throws the short way to get Beatty. Green allows a hit, and nothing else, still 1-1. One, one. Back to back, two out walks for Quintana. Here comes Mendoza. And Quintana was oh so close to getting through six, but it's now up to the bullpen to bail him out. Quintana gives way to Drew Smith. He has yet to allow a run. Throw down a second, short hop. That was a tough one for McNeil to handle. And, he's getting, and they're going to give him the base. Getting, he's going to get banged by the new rule, which is you're not allowed to block the bag. Because they've been worried about injuries to the wrist. And you can see the knee was up. You know, it's, that's too much of a blocking scenario from McNeil, even though he's, he's really trying to protect himself and, and do what he can to keep the ball in front of him. Luke Maley at the plate, and he pops it up. Lindor waving everybody off. He makes the catch, and the red strand two in the sixth. Still a tie game, 1-1 one, one, as we head to the seventh. And 34-year-old Fernando Cruz, a right-hander, takes over for Hunter Green. Six innings, three hits, one earned run, one walk, and six strikeouts. So he fell behind Jeff McNeil before coming back and getting a strikeout. He fell behind Harrison Bader and eventually walked him. And now he's walked the number nine hitter, DJ Stewart, only to face Francisco Lindor and then Pete Alonso. You put the bottom two guys in this Mets order aboard, and you are flirting with trouble. Ball four. And Fernando Cruz has walked Lindor to load the bases. So now a very dangerous hitter in Pete Alonso. He was a hero in the Mets yesterday's game. Alonso up the middle. De La Cruz to his left. Took a while to get it out of his glove. And everybody's safe. Mets have taken the lead as Bader scores on a ground ball up the middle from Alonso. That's going to go down as an E6 for De La Cruz. And De La Cruz has had trouble so far in the season. It's fourth air now for him. Gets it right off the webbing. And his big hand, he just misses grabbing the baseball. Tries to find it. I don't think they'd be able to turn a double play if he fielded it clean, but he didn't even get an out. Swing and a miss, strike three. Alvarez down on strikes. A huge K for Fernando Cruz with the bases loaded. Two gone in the seventh. Everyone in motion. Beatty line drive up the middle. Cruz, Dela Cruz, I should say, makes the catch. And Fernando Cruz is certainly fired up to get out of that. And Jamer Candelario to the plate. And he drives one to right. That's down for a base hit. Marte to his right to cut it off in the corner. India to third. And the Reds have second and third with two away in the seventh. The tying run 90 feet away. It is Brooks Raley who enters the game. Pitched a perfect sixth inning yesterday in game one of the doubleheader for the Mets. Just 14 pitches. Stevenson takes ball four. And the bases are loaded for Ellie De La Cruz. A chance to tie or take the lead. I know Ellie lives for this. You have to slow down your heart rate. You have to stay in the strike zone. Called strike three outside corner. And the Reds leave the bases loaded. De La Cruz caught looking. Still 2-1 Mets. Well, certainly the Mets have the lead 2-1. They would love some insurance, especially on the road. Bases are empty, top of the eighth. Here's Jeff McNeil. McNeil drives one deep right field. Way back there, gone! A rocket out of the park for McNeil. His first home run of the season. And the Mets take that insurance and grab a 3-1 to one lead. Well, that has to feel good for Jeff. He's had such a tough go of it to start this season. 
Mets lead the Reds 3 1 as we head to the bottom of the ninth, and Edwin Diaz in a save situation. They've been waiting for this for a long while. He will go to work against the top of the Reds' order. Jonathan India to lead it off. 1 2 3. In the order for Cincinnati. Check swing ground ball that ricochets off Diaz, and Beatty unable to bare hand. I'd imagine that's an E1. But India's aboard, and the tying run comes to the play in the form of Spencer Steer. Edwin comes home, ball four, check swing, Steer held up, and it's a walk to put the tying run on. And here comes Christian Encarnacion Strand. Encarnacion Strand, broken back, round ball up the middle, could be two, safe at second. This might be reviewable to see who got to the bag first. What's your gut tell you, Spilly? Oh, man, I think if the call at second base was called safe, I don't think it's clear enough to overturn it. So stands, stands is the key word. There was not enough evidence to decide either way. Second and third, one out. Jamer Candelario at the plate, the pitch. Candelario pops it up. We'll see if that gets a run home. India tags it third. Catch made by Bader. Here comes India. Here comes the throw, and it's cut off. And the Reds cut the deficit to one. And here is Jake Fraley, batting for the first time tonight. Fraley's been a hot hitter to start the year. Seven for 15. That skips away and allows Thompson to get to third. So how about this for some tension? But the Mets are also one strike away, up three to two. Ninth inning, two outs, payoff. Strikeout for Diaz to end it as he gets Jake Fraley and picks up his first save since coming back from injury. Edwin Diaz shuts the door. The Mets win it three to two.